Hello, my name is Andrea. I'm an amateur astronomer and I'm here at the St. Croix Observatory owned and operated by the Halifax Centre of the Royal Astronomical Society of Canada. Beside me is the Centre's telescope, but we're not here to talk about the telescope. I'm here to teach you how to use a star finder and find your way around the night sky. There are two parts to the star finder. You have the disc and you have your holder. If you take a look at the disc part, and up close, you'll see all the months, 12 months of the year, and you'll also see little ticks into in between each month. Each tick represents a day. So you have 365 days of the year on your star finder. If you look even closely inside the disc, you see there's a whole bunch of constellations. Now the thicker names here label the constellations, the bigger names, and the smaller names in the, in the smaller print label individual stars. And this section here kind of the lighter blue is the Milky Way and the yellow path here represents your planets. The second part is your holder and if you look closely at it it has times represented up here from 7 p.m. to 5 a.m. indicating where the stars will be rising and setting in the night sky. You also have your horizon labeled here so north, south, east and west and around the little uh, window here. When you put in the disc into the holder You've completed your star finder and you're almost ready to use it. Keep in mind though, this is a flat surface. And I'm out here staring at the southern horizon and that means the southern horizon on here must be facing you and you must be facing this horizon. So hold the planisphere like this, the southern horizon is in front of you. That means the northern horizon, which also looks like it should be in front of you here, but it's not, you're underneath the dome. So this part curves over and the northern horizon is behind you and the southern horizon will be in front of you. So this becomes kind of curved. Once you have assembled your star finder, you want to start using it underneath some dark skies. Now, the first thing you want to do is start to dial in the time of day and the date. So let's say we wanted to go to what today is July 30th. Take this. July 30th and rotate it counterclockwise here so you'll see the stars rise in the east and set in the west. So to July 30th at 11 p.m. you must align the date and the time and then it'll picture what the night sky will look like. On the southern horizon over here over the lake just above the horizon you should start to see Sagittarius. Just above Sagittarius and overhead up here you should see Aquila and then a little bit up overhead here you should see um, Cygnus the Swan. Now in the wintertime, if I'm standing in the same spot, but let's say I'm standing on it in January 1st at 11 p.m., this is what the night sky will look like on the southern horizon out here. So you'll see Orion well above the sky, and then way over above me you should probably see Cassiopeia. So now that you've learned how to use your star finder, you can download and print it off the RESC website. This is your own personal planetarium. There are 29 centers across Canada. For local events, you can visit Astronomy Nova Scotia here and pick up maybe one of these if you go to one of the events. I wish you clear skies and happy observing.